in a remarkable passage in that, his book, Faith and Belief, W.C. actually shows that the word belief, when it makes its way into English from German, actually initially carried that sense of loving. The word belief, he wrote, began its career in early modern English, meaning to be loved or regard as leaf, to hold dear or cherish. To believe a person, or to believe in or on a person, was to orient oneself toward him or her with a particular attitude or relationship of esteem and affection. Accept thou my belief, Schauser said, and he was talking about this affair of the heart. The German cognated that as Lieb, right? To love, Liebestraum, Liebefrau, okay. But soon enough, um, over time, belief went from being a matter of loving to a matter of rational assent. So now we're in a position, having cleared the way of these uh, conceptual slippage, to look at W.C. Smith's own, whoops, there's something before that. I thought we did. Oh. Okay, missing here is a slide. However, you actually have it uh, on your, uh, your handout, which you'll get. This is W.C. Smith's uh, definition of faith. Faith is deeper, richer, more personal. It is engendered and sustained by a religious tradition in some cases, and to some degree by its doctrines. But it is a quality of the person, not of the system. Faith is a quality of the person, not of the system. It is an orientation of the personality to oneself, to one's neighbor, to the universe. Faith is a total response, a way of seeing whatever one sees and of handling whatever one handles, a capacity to live at a more than mundane level, to see, to feel, to act in terms of a transcendent dimension how far that is from the impoverished notion of faith as about assent to a set of ideas. Faith is this total orientation, and if a working definition is a set of lenses through which we then can see something we haven't seen before, when I look for faith with that set of lens, I actually see statements of faith everywhere. You know, they're on bumper stickers. Uh, the guy who has the most toys at the end live, wins. Or um, I saw a great one the other day, grace happens. I think I also say shit happens. But they're all statements about total responses to the way life comes at one. We don't articulate our faith so much as we embody it. It's a stance toward life. My father sometimes used to say, it's a total jungle out there. You've got to look out for number one. In a kind of perverse and sad way, that was a statement in WC's terms of a total response. What's the universe like? And how do you embody a stance toward it? You better be on your guard because it's going to come at you. How different that is from a stance that's like this.